Hello everyone, this is Vijeta, Associate Professor from the Department of ECE from MLR Institute of Technology. Today, I would like to have a talk on low pass filters from linear and digital integrated circuits. These are all the topics which I want to cover in this video. First one, what is a first order low pass filter? How to design a first order low pass filter with a unity gain? And how to design a first order filter with a variable gain? What is the difference between uh, unity gain and the variable gain and at the same time the second order active filter with unity gain and variable gain. So, how to design a low pass filter for first order and second order is the topic which I want to cover in this video. First, we will see what is first order low pass filter with unity gain, how you need to design a low pass filter with unity gain. See, this is an operational amplifier where the input voltage is connected to a positive terminal of an op amp that is non-inverting terminal of an op amp with a combination of RC network and feedback is given from V0 to a inverting terminal of an op amp. First order active low pass filter with unity gain is also called as a voltage follower. Here, we need to find out the transfer function for this circuit to find out the frequency response. Any filter, we need to find out the frequency response. So, here for this low pass filter, if you want to find out the frequency response, you need to find out the transfer function first. So, if you want to find out the transfer function, you need to get a relation between output voltage and input voltage. And the transfer function is defined as ratio of output voltage to the input voltage that is V naught of S divided by V i of S. Here V naught of S can be here if you can apply a voltage divide rule over here let us assume the voltage across this node as V a if you can apply voltage divide rule across V a you can write V a is equals to V in into 1 by S c divided by R plus 1 by SC. Here, by applying a virtual group concept, V0 will be equals to VA. So, finally, you can write V0 is equals to V in into 1 by SC divided by R plus 1 by SC. And the transfer function is ratio of V0 by V in. So, you can write V0 by V in as 1 by SC divided by R plus 1 by SC. So, if you can solve this, you can write this as 1 by SE divided by 1 plus RSC divided by SC. The denominator part of capacitance will be cancels out and you will be getting it as a 1 by 1 plus SRC. If you can substitute S is equals to J omega you can write S is equals to J omega, you can write H of S as H of J omega which is equals to 1 divided by 1 plus this omega and let us assume that RC is equals to 1 by omega H. So, if you are considering this product of RC as 1 by omega h substituting s is equals to j omega you can write h of s as h of j omega and let us assume that rc the product of rc as 1 by omega h you can rewrite this expression as 1 by 1 plus j s plus low. in place of s you can write j omega in place of rc you can write 1 by omega h so h of j omega is given with 1 by 1 plus j into omega by omega h where omega h is equals to 1 by rc. The magnitude of h of j omega can be given as 1 by root over 1 plus omega by omega h whole square. So, we know that omega is equals to 2 pi f. If you substitute omega is equals to 2 pi f, you can write the transfer function in terms of frequency as 1 by root over 1 plus f by fh all square. So, from this expression, 
if you can plot the graph uh, between frequency and the transfer function let us assume f h is less than f f h is less than f or we can say that f frequency is greater than f h so here you are be getting a gain approximately equals to 1 which is less than minus 3 that is 1 by root 2 you will be getting so which is reducing with a 3 dB value when f is equals to f h you can get a gain as 1 when f is less than f h it will be approximately equals to 1 it tries to maintain 1 between f is f is less than f h at f is equals to f h it will be at 1 the gain of the low pass filter presents 1 unity gain and when it is when f is greater than f h then it rolls down the frequency this part this is when f is less than f h it is called as a pass band when the frequency is greater than the uh, f h then it is called as a stop band so only the particular frequency which is from 0 to f h are going to be allowing to the low pass filter and remaining will be stopped so an active low pass filter with a single rc network connected to non inverting terminal of amp op amp is shown here this is see here we are talking about the first order low pass filter with voltage gain sorry here we are discussing about the first order low pass filter with variable gain here an active low pass filter with a single rc network connected to the terminal of an op amp which is shown here and the input resistance ri and the feedback resistance rf are used to determine the gain of the filter in a pass band at low frequencies the capacity the capacitor sorry at low frequencies the capacitor acts as an open and the circuit works like a non inverting amplifier with a voltage gain of 1 plus rf by r1 as frequency goes on increasing the capacitor the capacitive reactance decreases causing a voltage gain drops off let us assume the voltage across this node as v1 so v1 here can be given as v1 is equals to vi into 1 by se sc divided by r plus 1 by sc so you can write v1 is equals to vi into 1 by sc divided by r sc plus 1 divided by sc so you can write v1 is equals to vi into 1 divided by r sc plus 1 let us substitute s is equals to j omega and omega is equals to 2 pi f you can write v1 is equals to v1 vi into 1 by 1 plus j omega in terms of omega in place of omega you are writing it as 2 pi f j 2 pi f into r c so this is how you got the voltage across this v1 as vi into 1 plus j 2 pi f r c and here as it has been connected the feedback network has been connected to a negative terminal of an op amp here v naught in terms of gain can be given as here v naught can be given as as the input voltage has been connected to a positive terminal of an op amp your v naught can be given as 1 plus rf by r1 into v in where v in is v1 that is the actual input voltage to the op amp vi is not an exact input to an op amp vi is the input for a rc network where v1 is an input for a in non inverting terminal op amp so the output voltage of a non inverting amplifier is given as v0 is equals to 1 plus rf by r1 into v in where v in is equals to v1 so v0 is equals to 1 plus rf by r1 into 
V1, where we got the V1 as Vi divided by 1 plus J2 pi F RC. By substituting V1 value across here, you can write V0 is equals to 1 plus RF by R1 into V1 divided by 1 plus J2 pi F RC. Let us assume 2 pi RC as 1 by FH or FH is equals to 1 by 2 pi RC. You can rewrite this expression as V0 is equals to see this 1 plus RF by R1 is again. So, you can write this V0 is equals to A into VI divided by 1 plus J 2 pi F RC. If you are assuming the 2 pi RC as 1 by FH, you can rewrite this expression as V0 is equals to A into VI divided by 1 plus J into F by FH. So, if you can take this VI to the LHS side, you can write V0 by VI is equals to A into 1 plus J F by FH. The ratio of V0 by VI is nothing but a gain. So, now where V0 by VI is a gain of a low pass filter which is a function of frequency and 1 plus RF by R RF by Ri is a gain of a pass band filter where F is a frequency of an input signal and FH is the highest cut of frequency of a filter. Now, we got V0 by VI as A divided by 1 plus J F by FH. Now, the, the frequency response of a filter can be determined by using a magnitude of a gain of a low pass filter which is expressed as magnitude of V0 by V in is equals to A divided by root over 1 plus F by FH whole square where the gain is given as magnitude of V0 by V in is A by root over 1 plus F by FH whole square where FH is the highest cut of frequency and F is the input signal frequency A is a gain of a pass band filter at low frequency C. Let us assume the same analysis with respect to frequency. We got the gain V0 by magnitude of V0 by V in as A divided by root over 1 plus F by FH whole square. Here, if F is less than FH, F is less than FH, then the gain will be approximately equals to A. The gain will be approximately equals to A till F is less than FH. Now, when the frequency reaches to cut off frequency, that is F is equals to FH, then we know that the gain falls to 0 0.70 times the maximum gain and at the frequency f is equals to f 0 to fh and at frequencies from 0 to fh is called as a pass band gain. At higher frequencies when f is greater than fh, when f is greater than fh, the gain decreases constantly to minus 20 dB dk. The frequency ra range beyond fh is called as a stop band. So, here when F is less than FH, your gain will be approximately equals to A that is gain of A, gain of A passband filter. When F is equals to FH, you will be getting it as A, A by root 2. So, your gain rolls down as root 2 times 1 by root 2 times which is 0 0.707 and F is greater than FH, it completely rolls down to minus 20 dB over the frequency. The frequency response of active filter is shown in this figure. So, the frequency, the frequency between 0 to FH, when F is between 0 to FH, that frequency is called as a pass band frequency. When the frequency is between, uh, is above FH, it is called as a stop band. And this frequency, this, this rolls down, um, the gain which is rolling down here is called as a 3 dB gain. Design of low pass filter. The following steps, these are the following steps where you can use to design a low pass filter. See, in order to design a low pass filter, first you need to know the cutoff frequency. At what frequency you want to design a 
low pass filter. Select the value of capacitor C such that it should be less than 1 millifarads. And when the value of FH and C are known, you can find out the R with the equation FH is equal to 1 by 2 pi RC. Finally, you can select the value of RI and RF with the help of pass band gain which is A is equals to 1 plus RF by R1. So, here the first point which you need to remember is you at what frequency you want to design a filter, low pass filter. If you find out the frequency, if you can determine, if you can know the frequency, you can select the capacitor which is should be less than 1 millifarads and from that capacitor you can determine the R and you can also determine the RF and RI based on the stop band, sorry, based on the gain of a filter, pass band gain of a filter. Here, second order active filter with unity gain was to be discussing. This is the second order active filter. VA is the input voltage, VA is the nodal voltage between the Y1 and Y2, VB is the nodal voltage across this node and Y3 has been connected between V0 and VA as a feedback and another feedback uh, is given to a inverting terminal of an op amp. Now, here we are having two nodes. Now, let us assume by applying a KCL across node A, you can write the equation as VI minus VA into y1 is equals to va minus vb into y2 plus va minus v0 into y3. Now, by applying a KCL across vb, you can write the equation as va minus vb into y2 is equals to vb into y4. Now, as by applying a virtual ground concept, you can write VB is equals to V0 that is the voltage across this node will be equals to voltage across this node where this has been connected as a feedback. So, V0 can be appeared over here and you can assume this VB is equals to V0 by applying a virtual ground concept. So, you can rewrite this expression as VAY2 is equals to V0 into Y4 plus y2. So, you can write Va is equals to, we can write Va is equals to V0 into y2 plus y4 divided by y2 where Va0 or you can write Vb also. So, you can write Va is equals to V0 into y2 plus y4 divided by y2. Now, now if you can substitute this V0 value in this expression that is V i minus V a into y 1 is equals to V a minus V b into y 2 plus uh, V a minus V naught into y 3. If you can substitute V naught value in the above expression, the complete equation will be in terms of the input voltage and the output voltage and you will be having one more term which is V b which you can write as V b can be replaced with V naught. Now, by replacing V b with V naught and um, V a with the V naught into y 2 plus y 4 divided by y 2, the complete equation can be written in terms of input voltage and output voltages or uh, you can rewrite this expression as V i y 1 is equals to V a into y 1 plus y 2 plus y 3 plus um, V naught v naught into v naught into y 3 plus y 2 y 3 plus y 2. So, and by substituting v b is equals to v naught. So, the complete equation can be given as v i y 1 is equals to v a into y 1 plus y 2 plus y 3 plus v b into y 2 plus y 3 which you can write as VA0 into Y3 plus Y2. Now, now by substituting VB value as Y2 plus V0 into Y2 plus Y3, you can rewrite this expression as V0 into that is VA is equal to sugar, VA as V0 into Y2 plus Y4 into divided by Y2, Y1 plus Y2 plus 
y3. So finally, you can write, if you can solve this expression, you can find out the transfer function as v0 of s divided by va of s as y1, y2 divided by y1, y2 plus y4 into y1 plus y2 plus y3. This is a transfer function for a second order low pass filter with a unity gain. Now, the general second order low pass filter with a variable gain. Here also the circuit has been represented with admittance y1, y2, y3, y4 and instead of taking feedback without resistance now to get a variable gain we have included R1 and Rf. A general second order active filter with variable gain is shown in here in the figure. Here the op amp is connected to a non-inverting amplifier configuration. The result as obtained can be used to analyze the low pass and high pass filters. Here the input voltage is given to this admittance and the actual input voltage which is given to op amp is Vb as the circuit has been connected to non-inverting terminal V0 is given as V0 is equals to 1 plus Rf by R1 into V in where V in is Vb over here. So, you can write V0 is equals to A into Vb where A is equals to 1 plus Rf by R1. Now, applying a Kirchhoff uh, current law across this node. See, this is here shows the uh, general second order low pass filter with a variable gain. VI is the input voltage, VA is the node voltage across VA and uh, VB is the node voltage across the node B and RA and RF are the feedback resistors. RA is the input resistance and RF is the feedback resistance. Now, if you can apply a KCL across VA, you can write the equation as V i minus v a into y1 and v a minus v0 into y3 and v a minus v b into y2. If you can separate v a, v b and v i terms, you can write the equation as v i into y1 is equals to v a into y1 plus y2 y3 minus v0 y3 minus v b y2 and which you can simplify as V A into Y1 plus Y2 plus Y3 minus V0 Y3 minus V B. The voltage here is V0. So, by virtual ground concept, V B is equals to V0. So, you can write V0 Y2 divided by A. Now, by applying a Kirchhoff's current law across A node B, that is assume this as VB and you can get the equation as VA minus VB into Y2 is equals to VB into Y4. So, you can write this expression as VA into Y2 is equals to VB into Y2 plus Y4 where VB is equals to V0. You can rewrite this expression as VA is equals to V0 Y2 plus Y4 divided by A into this Y2. So, now if you can, uh, uh, this is let us assume this as equation 1. Let us assume this as equation 2. Now, if you can substitute VA value in equation 1, the complete equation will be in terms of VI and V0. If you can substitute VA in terms of V0 equation in equation 1 and the equation 1 now will be in terms of VI and V0. If you can solve for V0 by V in which is transfer function is given as A into Y1, Y2 divided by Y1, Y2 plus Y4 into Y1 plus Y2 plus Y3 plus Y2, Y3 into 1 minus A. Now, practically in place of uh, admittance now, we try to substitute with the resistors and capacitors here. Now, let us assume this Y1 as R and Y2 as uh, R and Y3 as this capacitor and Y4 has this capacitor. Let us assume that all the resistors and capacitors, all the resistors are of uh, equal value and all the capacitors are of equal value. Now, see Y1, Y2 is replaced with 1 by R and Y3, Y4 is replaced with the SC. Now, we got the transfer function as A into A into Y1, Y2 divided by Y1, Y2 plus Y4 into Y1 plus Y2 plus Y3 plus Y2, Y3 into 1 minus A. A into y1 y2 that is 1 by r into 1 by r 1 by r square then y1 y2 1 by r square y4 into y1 plus y2 plus y3 plus y3 into 1 minus a. 
So, if you can substitute the uh, respect to y1, y2, y3, y4 values in transfer function, you can re rewrite the transfer function as a into 1 by r square divided by 1 by r square plus sc into 1 by r plus 1 by r plus sc plus sc by r into 1 minus a. Now, if you can solve this expression that is uh, a by r square into if you can take this 1 by r square common you can write as 1 by 1 plus sc r square and 1 by r plus 1 by r you can write as a 2 by r plus sc plus sc r square divided by r into 1 minus a where this r get cancels out and you can get it as a by 1 plus sc r square into 2 by r plus sc plus sc r into 1 minus a. If you can solve this expression to find a transfer function, you will be getting a final transfer function as a in divided by s square r square c square plus sc r into 3 minus a plus 1. When s is equals to 0 and h of s is equals to a and uh, when s is equals to infinity, h of s is equals to 0 which indicates this configuration will be good for Lupus filter. Now, general physical system generally for physical system such as an electrical, mechanical or chemical or hydraulical transfer function can be given as a into omega h square divided by s square plus s alpha omega h plus omega h square where a is a gain of a system omega h is a highest cut of frequency in terms of radians per second and uh, a is a damping factor where alpha is a not a where alpha is a damping factor. If you can compare this generalized transfer function with the second order low pass filter transfer function you can write omega h is equals to 1 by rc and alpha as 3 minus a and transfer function h of j omega can be given as a by root 1 plus j into omega by omega h square plus j into alpha omega by omega h plus 1. Now, the normalized uh, low pass filter, the normalized transfer function for a low pass filter is given as h of j omega is equals to a by s square plus alpha s plus 1 and the normalized frequency s can be substituted with s is equals to j omega where for a normalized frequency you can substitute s is equals to j into omega by omega h and uh, your equation in terms of magnitude is given as 20 log a by 1 plus j uh, omega by omega j alpha omega by omega h plus j omega by omega h whole square j square is minus 1. So, you can rewrite this expression as so if you can substitute s is equals to j omega by omega h in the above expression you can write it as a by 1 plus j alpha into omega by omega h plus j into omega by omega h whole square which you can give as a by 1 minus omega by omega h whole square plus j into alpha into omega by omega h. So, from this if you can apply a magnitude you can write as a by root over 1 plus omega by omega h whole square whole square plus alpha into omega by omega h whole square. So, 20 log of a by root over 1 minus omega square omega h square whole square plus alpha into omega by omega h whole square. Now, if you can uh, normalize this expression, you can rewrite this as simplified expression, you can write it as 20 log of a by root over 1 plus omega by omega h whole to the power of 4. This, uh, this is a this equation if you can minimize that is 1 minus a square plus uh, 2ab. If you can minimize this expression, you can write this expression as a by root over 1 plus om omega by omega h whole to the power of 4 which you can also rewrite as uh, omega by omega h into power 1 to power n where n is equals to 2 for a second order low pass filter. If it is an n low pass n order low pass filters, you can write as omega 1 by root over 1 plus omega by omega h whole to the power of 2 power n where n is the order of a low pass filter. Here in this video, I have discussed low pass filter with a unity gain and with a 
variable gain. Here, the difference between the unity gain and variable gain, here the unity gain acts as a voltage follower and the feedback from the output to a non-inverting terminal is not connected with the resistors. Whereas, for a variable gain, your output has been connected with the non-inverting terminal is connected to a non-inverting ter inverting terminal with a input resistance and a feedback resistance. That means the gain, the passband gain for a non-inverting terminal will be considered for a low pass filter with a variable gain concept. Next, we have discussed about a second order low pass filter and we have determined the frequency response for a low pass filter for, for second order low pass filter we have determined the frequency response so we have determined the low pass filter with a unity gain and variable gain and we also determine the first order low pass filter and second order low pass filter and we have determined the transfer function for first order and second order low pass filter and we also determine the frequency response of a first order and second order low pass filters. Thank you.